Hey everybody, Brian the Wild Army and Rat Ride Carport Builder Mechanic, whatever you want to call me. You know, don't call me late for lunch. Don't feed me either. I had a wonderful breakfast. And I'm not here, disclaimer, I'm not here to endorse or uh, um, promote my breakfasts or my food or the dinners I eat. And so don't come over with a fork because I might have ate it all. If you do, I'll feed you. Don't, I'm just kidding. And I'm not also, I'm not here to um, promote and uh, uh, Chevrolet either. I just got the shirt on. The wife picked it up at Wally World. It was cheap, so it's a good shirt. I could work and get greasy and work on the old rat rat. But anyway, I'm not here to talk about all that. What I'm here to talk about, again, I know you're going to get tired of this over and over, but Social Security... 62 to 65 or 66, should I retire early, you know? And, uh, well, here's the thing. The last videos, and please go back and check. Go to my channel and go back and if you need help to figure out stuff. You know, don't take my word on everything. I'm not, a, I'm not the uh, guru of information when it comes to retirement. Please, there's a lot of other folks on the internet that have great advice also whatever works for you and maybe there's something in those videos you could take out a little nuke a granny of information it may help you and i hope so you know i hope i can help you but back in back to where i was getting i got on a tangent they said don't get on a tangent i don't care this is the way i talk from the heart and this is the way it goes anyway getting back to doing a budget okay and working a me uh, uh, retiring within your means you know a lot of times over the years they were saying, get a 401, get to save money, do this, do that. You know, you got a retirement. That way, you know, I had this thing, diesel pusher, motor home, you know, uh, uh, a good Sam's membership, you know, east to west in America, you know, and the Grand Canyon and all that. So this is the vision I had in my mind. And, you know, really, when I got down to it, here's the thing. Reality, don't look like it's going to happen. Okay. Now, I'm not a poor boy. I'm not whining or anything like that. I have money saved up to to uh, make it comfortable for retirement years because Social Security only gives me, geez, a quarter of what I made uh, a year. And people go, I can't retire off of that. Yeah, you can. You know, if anybody knows about a catfish, you get a little baby catfish like this. Let's say this size. You put it in a tank this big. It'll grow within the size of its tank. You get a bigger tank, that catfish will grow to fit the size of that tank. A bigger one, that catfish will get even bigger, you know. And, of course, if you throw it in the lake, man, you got a big catfish. I mean, they can grow and keep growing as long as they don't get cat, uh, catched, caught, <laughs> catch, caught, can't even speak, caught and put on somebody's dinner table, you know. <laughs> yeah, lights are off for the old catfish. But that's what I mean. But living within my means and, uh, man, like rat rides and stuff. Oh, I get on Facebook Marketplace. Woo, look at that 65 Mustang convertible project car. I could get that. That guy only wants three grand. It has a, fl a, a clear Florida title. And then I go, oh, back up. I don't need to get into that project. I got enough of these old junkers around here to do. And, you know, I, I start getting outside of my head, you know, going, oh, look at that old Harley's. You know, Sportature, they only want $1,500 for it. Wow. You know, I can overload my butt with that stuff, too, and getting outside my means. You know, I, I got to slow down, think about what I got, you know. And I don't need a motorhome, a big motorhome to make me happy. And that's the main thing, whatever makes me happy. And uh, you, when, I, when I do pull that switch to start collecting my benefits, well... I have a lot to do. There's a lot of upkeep and a lot of repairs that neglected over the years. Um, so I'm going to have plenty to do. But that's the whole thing. Getting back to all this, I work within my means. You know, when I say I'm frugal or, or, or a thing, people on my wife say, oh, you're cheap, you're tight, you don't want to spend money. No, I'm being frugal. Some things I just do without. I don't need to spend the money. If I keep spending money on this and that, I won't have any, you know? So I got to be frugal, uh, pay for what I can, you know, afford at the time, work with what I got. Don't take on any more projects, work on the work that needs to be done. And with that, you know, I, but here's the thing. When I think about in the past, oh Lord, 
I can't retire because I haven't got that motor home, that budget and all that. No, you can retire. You know, you set your expectations too high. Yeah, you won't be able to retire. You'll be working until 70, or I'll be, excuse me, I'll be working until I'm 70 years old for the big full retirement. And I'll be, uh, you know, I don't want to go that route. You know, I'm going to retire earlier. I'm going to enjoy my life. Don't, don't live out my means. Be like that catfish. Grow in the tank that I'm in. And that's all. So, you know, I got to be grateful for what I've got and, uh, and thank the good Lord um, to what I have, you know, instead of what I deserved. <laughs> so, you know what? I, I hope um, you got something out of this video. I really do. And I hope I was able to help somebody because it can be overwhelming, and I've been there. I can get overwhelmed about stuff. Get, you start looking at the charts and this and that and this and that. and Oh, my Lord, you can just sit there and paralyze yourself. Don't do that. Uh, let go. Let God, like the old saying was, and everything will be all right. Trust in the good Lord. And, and use your thinking. Think wisely of what you do. You know, be wise. Be sober. Be wise. It says that in the big book, the Bible. And anyway, hey, I love you guys. I appreciate you watching this video through. And my son says, Dad, you know, hit the like button. Tell him to hit the like button. Uh, describe to your channel. Ring the notification bell. Tell him to do that. Tell him back. I'm please, please, please. <laughs> I, I really do. He's right. Please uh, like and describe and, and look at my other videos and, and give me opinions too. I'm open for criticism, you know. I'm a, hey, if I can't take criticism after all these years at this point in my life, I might as well just give up and I'm not going to do that. Thank you. God bless you. Y'all come back. Yeah.